Welcome to TLA Exploratory 7 and 8. Today, we will continue our topic in agriculture and crop production. For lesson 1.1, enter front plants and drawings. Design farm plants and layouts according to crop grown. Factors to consider in preparing the plant. If your garden site is in a sloping hill, the plant should be in a row across the slope to avoid erosion. In order for the plants to receive the maximum sunlight the whole day, plant the crops in rows from north to south direction. Provide the proper place for the soft steamed vegetables, bashy vegetables, vine vegetables, and tree vegetables. Separate tall growing plants from low growing plants. And plants that will occupy an area in the garden the whole season should be grouped together. Fast growing or quick maturing plants such as petri and lettuce should be grouped together. If your garden space is limited, the long maturing plants can be planted between the early maturing ones so that by the time they are harvested, the long maturing ones will have enough space. The rows must be straight. Provide space between the rows to make cultivation easier. Provide the space for the garden house, the tools, seeds, fertilizers, pesticides, insecticides, and other supplies. And indicate the location of the fence, well or pump, and drainage or irrigation ditches. Most common garden layout for growing vegetables, we have vertical growing vegetables garden. These gardens are designed for people having little to no traditional garden space. We have also a black style garden layout, also called close row or wide row planting. This method increases yield significantly over a traditional row style garden. Square foot garden plots are generally set up in a green of 4x4 squares with strings or wood attached to the time frame to divide the bed into equal square foot sections. We have also a 4 square layout. It's created by straight paths, one leading from the garden gate to the front entry of the house, and the other crossing it is a 90 degree angle. For raised bed containers, for those having little space or even inadequate soil, planting veggies in raised beds or containers is a great alternative. For a single row, the most basic garden plan consists of a design with straight, long rows running north to south orientation. For planning the garden plot, first pick a spot that fits the sunlight needs of your plants and choose a spot that is level and even. Use raised beds if you are in a colder climate and go for in-ground beds in a warmer climate. Decide how many beds you are going to plant. And for mark out the plot, get rid of the existing lawn and remove weeds and debris. Mark the plot with the string and stakes. For preparing the soil, first, test the soil, dig the plot, add organic matter or the soil, and turn the soil, and put up a barriers around the plot if needed. For row planting arrangement of crops, we have single row planting arrangement, multiple row planting arrangement, and spatial arrangement. There are types of cropping system or common practices in planting crops. We have monocrop, the agricultural practice of growing a single crop year on the same and in the absence of rotation. Intercropping Common practice of maximizing the use of vacant inter-row spaces when the main crop has not fully developed, thus allowing sufficient light exposure, examples, coffee, cacao, or banana. Relay cropping is essentially a special version of double cropping where the second crop is planted into the first crop before harvest rather than waiting until after harvest as in true double cropping. Crop rotation 
is the practice of growing a series of different types of crops in the same area across a sequence of growing seasons. And for methods of planting crops in the farm, first we have direct seedling or direct sowing, and we have transplanting. That's the end of our lessons for design farm plans and layouts according to craft grown. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.